I am Alice. I am Warden of the Mill, along with my husband, Sam. Uh, I'm Sam Carter, and I'm half of the Warden at the Mill. So the mill is 10 acres nearly of land. Um, it's an old mill site, obviously. So there used to be um, a big mill pond and then a wheel that got uh, pushed round when they opened the sluice gate and that uh, would grind flour. And this is more than 150 years ago. This place exists. The charity's sole purpose is to provide this place for William Ellis students. So the mill um, is where I work. Uh, it's mine and Sam's job combined, but I think probably as everybody who's been to the mill realises it's not just a job, it's um, our way of life. So um, the mill is a residential centre, it's a charity, uh, and the ethos of the charity is to uh, bring mainly William Ellis boys down from North London to be uh, in the Surrey Hills, and the mill is a, is a building that accommodates and is set in beautiful grounds so that they can be outside most of the time. The number of people that the mill building sleeps inside, 40 people in, in bunk beds, uh, but most of the time when we've got schools that come down, we have the boys or the pupils out in big teepee tents outside. Um, and the most we've ever had for a school are 120 that have been camping here. Um, that was a bit of a stretch <laughs> and quite hard work. <laughs> so I have been a paramedic for nearly 15 years. I first started in London, then moved down to the South East Coast Ambulance Service and worked in work in Brighton now. We, uh, I moved down because I fell in love with Alice um, and so moved down to kind of be nearer her as well as a new role at work and then when her mum retired from the mill because she was warden here for a long time she offered it to Alice and I and we said yes and so we've been um, we've been looking after this place now for four and a half years. So my background prior to running the mill is that I was a primary school teacher um, so I am the cliche of liking working with children and um, I was introduced to the mill because my mum ran the mill before me. So she was warden of the mill before I was and I became involved with it through my teaching um, and when she retired uh, it seemed quite a natural progression that myself and Sam would take it on because we'd spent so much time here um, and it just didn't, yeah, didn't, didn't feel like there was any other way of being other than at the mill. When schools and pupils come here with William Ellis, um, they are looked after by the school staff. So the school staff, William Ellis staff, are in charge then of the activities. And mine and Sam's role is, is looking after the building and doing all of the catering. So we make sure they're well fed and make sure uh, you know, the building is fit for purpose and that they're safe. So I'm sat now in the ropes course um, we do shelter building on site and we've done it off site as well. Uh, the walk up the hill to the top of Leith Hill Tower is amazing um, where you can see the south coast and you can see Wembley at the same time. We cook on the campfire so they make damper which is really fun. We have an escape room so they have an activity that they've got to do to escape one of the rooms here um, and we do geocaching an activity which is basically a really really fun uh, treasure hunt and uh, but using geocaches and um, GPS devices to find all these different geocaches so it's um, they're always busy always doing things and it's fun it's really fun what I like to see in the boys or the pupils when they're here and what they take away from it from their experience of two or three nights or four nights here is a freedom to just explore and I don't know I, I've grown up in the countryside but being in a uh, in a city school I think probably from what the teachers say it's so nice to see the kids just be in a safe environment that's huge and they can just run around and be free I think 
something that I always remember early on was a, a group of year nine pupils coming down and all of the boys were really concerned that they didn't have any mobile reception and they weren't allowed on the Wi-Fi and uh, oh no this is going to be really awful. Actually I was then walking around the site and I walked around the corner and there was a boy hiding in a bush and I said oh are you okay and he and they were playing 4040 and I thought well you haven't even thought about your phone um, so I think it's it's just hopefully giving them exposure to the outdoors and uh, taking risks taking taking um, new challenges on and, and sleeping outside which I think maybe a lot of them haven't done before well when some of the year seven boys turned up in my first ever year working here and they were waving their phone in the air and they said I can't get any signal and then they asked uh, how do you eat because I haven't seen the Tesco's in ages and then they said do you still drive a horse and cart because it feels like we're back in the dark ages for them to come and experience that and come from a uh, very urban environment to then half a day later be playing uh, sword fighting and hiding in bushes and playing 40-40 that sort of uh, reimagining of what it's like to be a child for those individuals is just fantastic. So uh, kids come away having uh, been scared by a crane fly and having got wet and cold and muddy feet and uh, maybe bump themselves when they fall off the ropes course but all of those things are learning experiences for everybody who comes here. Uh, I get to hang out in this amazing space. I mean, look around you, what better office can you imagine? It's just a really special place. And I think it's because it's this safe place in a, in a beautiful setting um, that it just, I find it, I find it exciting and I find it um, magical. <laughs>